A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, Get up and head south on the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert route. So he got up and set out. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Candace, that is the queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury who had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, Go and join up with that chariot. Philip ran up and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, Do you understand what you are reading? He replied, How can I, unless someone instructs me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit with him. This was the scripture passage he was reading. Like a sheep he was led to the slaughter, and as a lamb before its shear is silent, so he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation justice was denied him, who will tell of his posterity, for his life is taken from the earth. Then the eunuch said to Philip in reply, I beg you, about whom is the prophet saying this? About himself or about someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth, and beginning with the scripture passage, he proclaimed Jesus to him. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, there is water. What does prevent me being baptized? Then he ordered the chariot to stop, and Philip and the eunuch both went down to the water, and he baptized him. When they came out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away, and the eunuch saw him no more, but continued on his way rejoicing. Philip came to Azotus and, about, and went about proclaiming the good news to all the towns until he reached Caesarea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Bless our God, you peoples. Loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls and has not let our feet slip. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. When I appealed to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Blessed be God who refused me not, my prayer or his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So I've started to learn the guitar. It's something I always wanted to do, just never got around to doing it. I learned the piano as a kid. Uh, so I borrowed, especially with time now, uh, my hands, I borrowed my, one of my mom's guitars. Uh, she's a cellist, but she plays several instruments. So when I just picked up the guitar, and like I've done when I've seen other guitars just randomly lying around with my buddies who play it, I just had no idea how to, how to play this instrument. I, I strung strings and no sound comes about. But as soon as I've watched a video on YouTube, and then I've been watching a few uh, you know, introductory videos, it's, it all begins slowly to make sense, how to form chords, what exactly the strings are, what the frets are, so forth. It makes me think of this eunuch uh, trying to read the Old Testament. It's like me picking up the guitar for the first time. I have no idea how exactly to, to play this thing. Yes, I know about notes and music because I play the piano, but the piano is a very different instrument than the guitar. So the eunuch, uh, who's a pagan, yeah, he knows truth, he understands philosophy, but he can't make sense of the scriptures, of the one true God, and, and then the prophets, and then even Jesus Christ. He needs someone to explain it to him, just like I needed to watch that YouTube video. And God provides. God provided for the eunuch. He sends, miraculously, Philip, one of the apostles, down 
And it's a great scene where he hops in, he runs alongside this chariot. Imagine, you know, running alongside like a moving train. So Philip's given this miraculous uh, speed. And then he has this great conversation that ends in the eunuch's baptism. Philip is fused with Jesus Christ. So he is acting like God in that chariot. So Jesus says in the gospel, look, no one can go to the Father unless he goes through me. So this eunuch is going to the Father through Jesus, but also through Philip, because Philip and Jesus now are one. That's the power of, of Pentecost and the Holy Spirit in our souls. We need to go to the Father. Uh, we need to learn about life and, and truth and beauty, and we do that uh, through instructors. Uh, so through your priest, but also uh, you need to be an instructor as well uh, to your children uh, or uh, to maybe your spouse or uh, even if both of you are Catholics, um, to help a loved one go deeper into the truth, uh, to live in a more holistic and holy way. You can be that, that medium or that guide, that instructor. All of us have that ability through the power of our baptism, which makes us like Jesus Christ. So I'll let you know how my guitar lessons go maybe at the end of this coronavirus. God bless you. Amen.